Hey, what's up guys? It's Karate Fox, and right behind me is CSX8888, and that is an EMD SD40-2 in the YN2 livery. It was famously involved in the Crazy 8s incident, where it was a runaway train in Ohio back in 2001, and actually made an animation of this featuring it, so check it out if you haven't already. Uh, so since then, I actually tweaked it just to make things a lot more accurate. You know, I had like a rough model for the animation. Just need to add uh, more details in and fix some things such as like the hood. Apparently this is supposed to be gray and I just like overlooked that detail. <laughs> I am also using dark oak fences for the railings and added a bit more of this uh, yellow on top of here because it's supposed to be after this uh, oak button. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. It was actually highly requested, so uh, you guys can now have the CSX Crazy 8s in your world, or if you just want a CSX YN2 livery. I also did add like 8888 for the number boards just to make it uh, more specific. But anyways, let's get started. So first off, let's grab some materials. Nether brick stairs, dark oak fence gate, slab trap door fence, uh, black concrete, nether brick wall, oak slab, nether brick slab, and that's all we can carry in our tool ball right now. So first off we'll add in nether brick stairs in the middle of the tracks, add it facing towards it, then on top here we'll add it facing towards the front. Upside down and upside down facing outwards. Dark oak fence gate in the middle. And then to the side, open that up. Dark oak slab on top of this. And then we'll go to the back, upside down, nether brick stairs. Dark oak fence gate in front of it. And then oak slab, we're going to add in two here. Add a black concrete over here. Oak slab on top. And we will also need this acacia fence gate. Open that up towards the front. All right, so then we'll add in a two by two of dark oak fence right on top of here. And then we're gonna actually delete this middle one here. All right, so then we'll add in black concrete over here. All right, so next we'll take out gray terracotta, add that on top of the track for the wheel. Dark oak stairs upside down after it, hopper, and do the same thing again. And then same thing except this time we're not going to include the hopper in the back. We're going to add in instead a dark oak fence gate and open that up. And then we're going to add in fence gates in front of all these stairs and hoppers in front of all the terracottas on the side. And we'll add in another brick slab over here. Then we shall add in, um, inside of this, nether brick block next to all these stairs. And then upside down nether brick stairs in front of all of that. And then nether brick slabs in the middle. Like so. Alright, then we'll add in a nether brick wall on top of the stairs. And two here in the middle. Skip a block, add in another one right here. Then I'm going to add in another brick wall on top of this. Skip a block, add in two. Skip a block, add one. And then add in black concrete, a row across the middle half, and in between all these walls. Then on top, add in another brick stairs upside down, right side up. Slab. Stairs upside down, right side up. Slab. Upside down stairs, right side up stairs. Then we'll add in another brick slab, two blocks wide, and then um, another brick fence in this little corner like that. All right, so next up, we'll go in the front here, add in uh, another brick slab here, an oak slab in front of that, and then two another brick slabs here, dark oak fence, two blocks tall here. And um, next up, we'll take a chain block as well as a dark oak trapdoor. So I'll add the chain block right over here in the middle and to the side of the coupling. And add in a dark oak trapdoor right here in the front. Close that up like so. 
All right, then we're going to add in the fuel tank. So I'll take out black concrete. We're going to make this a two by two. Then we're going to add upside down nether brick stairs. I'm going to make it nine blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. Then we'll add in three nether brick slabs in the front. And then black concrete behind it. Add another one past it. And upside down stairs for the rest all the way across. We'll add in a two by two black concrete side like that. Like so. Alright, so after we've done that, we'd copy everything for the pilot all the way up to this midsection just before the fuel tank. And build the same thing just the other direction over here. Alright, so once you've built the other side, it should look like this. So in the back part, we're going to get rid of the plows. So make this L shape of black concrete instead. Then we'll should add in another brick fence right over here in that corner. Now let's go back in the front. And I'm going to add in the ditch lights, so take out smooth quartz block, item frame, as well as a nether brick wall. So just place another brick wall here, item frame, smooth quartz block inside of it. Alright, so next we'll take out oak slab, we'll add one over here, side, yellow wall, um, oak stairs facing in the back like that, then oak slab on top of here. And then we'll add in yellow wool, two blocks tall. To make this go in a diagonal. Add another one right over here. Oak stairs. Yellow wool over here. And then a lapis lazuli over here in the middle. With an oak slab in the front. Then we'll add in a gray concrete over here. And it looks to be another gray concrete here over here. Lapis lazuli, three blocks tall. Then I'm going to add a dark prismarine slab. And then I'm going to make a U shape, three blocks tall and three blocks wide of lapis lazuli. Add a yellow wool here in the middle. And then we'll add in um, oak slabs, goes all the way across underneath here. Lapsily inside. So we're just going it to the end of the cab. Alright, so back over here we'll add in gray carpet. We're gonna add that across all this section over here of the hood on top. Add lapsily, another two blocks here. And then we'll add in um two sides uh this warp bun and we'll add another warp bun um right over here to decide where the number is. And then we'll add in a warp trap door here. Smooth quartz stairs on top and dark prismarine stairs on either side. And then we're gonna make an L shape of lapis lazuli. A warped fence gate over here in the front. And smooth quartz slabs two by two. Look at that. Then we're gonna add in a birch sign over here for the number plate. You can place whatever number you want there. I'll take stone buttons, add that for the headlight here, and to the side for the little flag. Then we'll add in a V-shape of oak buttons over here. And on top we'll add in a stone button again, there in the middle. And two snow layers tall like that. Then we'll add in black glass over here, two blocks wide. Blue glass pane in the middle. And then we'll add in black concrete inside, two blocks wide here and a yellow glass pane in this bottom corner. So next up, let's go towards the back area. Take out smooth quartz uh, slab. Let's add that right here in the back. And then an oak slab, this is gonna go all the way across to the back, I mean the front. That, then we're gonna go back over here, add in um, some more nether brick slabs, so. Let's add in one over here, another one over here in the middle. Then I'm going to add two blocks tall, yellow wool. I'm going to go diagonal like that. Add another yellow wool over here. And lapis lazuli in the middle. Two blocks tall, yellow wool. Then we're going to make it two by seven of bedrock. So seven blocks long pretty much. So one, two, three. Like that. 
and then on top we'll add in a light gray carpet over here two daylight detectors skip a block one skip block two i'm going to make them all blue add in light gray carpet in between and then i think the rest of the roof is going to be uh light gray wool across the top section all the way to the cab And then we'll skip block here, add four blocks long, daylight detectors, make them blue. Skip a block and add in a stone pressure plate. And then three iron trap doors. Over here we'll add in a light gray wool. And then three bedrocks. And then back over here we'll add in light gray wool to the side. Make it go all the way to the front. And we're going to add a light gray carpet right at the top of these. Um, bedrocks, and I do need to grab from there. And then we're going to go down over here. We'll add in lapis lazuli. I'm going to make it three blocks tall. Then we'll add in a dark prismarine stairs here with a light gray wall inside. Then we'll add dark prismarine stairs right over there. Lapis lazuli underneath. And we'll go ahead and add lapis lazuli all the way across the bottom row, all the way across. Like so. And then we'll add in um, dark prismarine slab, and this is going to be pretty much lining up just before the fuel tank over here. Dark prismarine slabs like that. And then we're going to go line up just where this division starts. Add a dark prismarine slab over here. Cross like that. And we'll add in a uh, light gray carpet. I mean, wool inside where the slabs are and where the stair is. All right. And then we're going to add in, um, yeah, light gray wool on top of these slabs. Both of them and the stairs over here on the side. And this front section, you know what, fill in this top row as well like that. And then for this vent over here, let's grab some materials. Uh, so we'll take out oak stairs, make a pair like that. Then add in two stone slabs, top to bottom. And then stone stairs facing the back, top to bottom. And then two more stone slabs, and then stone stairs again facing top to bottom, facing the back like that. All right, so then in the back section here, we'll add in um, a birch sign over here, warp button underneath, and then a uh, oak button. I mean, oak fence gate, open that up. Then we're gonna add in a birch fence gate in the middle here, oak button underneath like that. And we'll also need a light gray carpet above all these parts over here that are exposed. Then we need the dynamic brick housing, so we'll take out stone stairs upside down, face the back, and then four nether brick stairs upside down, and then two stone stairs facing outwards. We're going to add in a light gray carpet just above that nether brick stairs area, like so. All right, then inside this indentation, we'll make a light gray wall, wall inside. We're going to make that logo after we flip both sides. So just leave that hole there for now. All right, so next we're going to make these door banners. So to make that, we'll go to our loom. Put out a blue die with a black banner. Make a border around it. Put it back in. I'm going to go across the bottom half of it. That's how you do it. So we just place that in the front and the back of the cab. Next, we're going to add in the railing. So that's going to be... Um, Dark oak fence, right over here, two blocks tall. And then dark oak fence gates, two blocks like that. And right over here, another brick, I mean, dark oak fence, go dangling down, two block tall. Dark oak fence, like that. And we're gonna go in the back, skip block, and then two blocks tall. And then we're gonna extend this so it's every other block with the fences. So it should look like this. Then the back, we're going to add three dark oak fence gates in between. And we'll leave it alone like that for now. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, this half. So we're going to copy everything that we did over here and build the other side.
Alright, so once you have both sides, it looks like this. So now we're going to go to this section over here on the side, and we'll add a little window here. So punch a hole in, add black concrete inside, and a stone stairs facing towards the front. Should be in between these two vents. Then we'll go in the back, add in an oak button on the top right, and an oak fence again on the top left, and open that up. Then we'll add in a blue um, banner right there at the bottom, both sides. Should have probably done this earlier though. And then we have to make another one in the loom. So just take out light gray banner with blue dye. I'm going to make a blue line across the bottom row. And we'll just place that banner on top. Like that, both sides. Very good so far. So now we'll get to add in uh, this blower duct on this side. So we're going to skip a uh, wall here at two blocks wide of stone stairs. And then we'll make a two by two of light gray uh, glass panes like so. All right, so now um, let's make the CSX logo. So this is what it looks like. All right, to get started, we're gonna make the C first. So let's add in lapzuli, dark prism and stairs, upside down, top to bottom of this. Dark prism and stairs, top to the bottom again. So make that C, so it looks a lot like a C. Next, we're going to make the X. That's going to be two dark prism marine stairs, top to bottom, just facing the same direction towards the middle. And upside down, I mean, actually, backwards, dark prism marine stairs. And a warped trap door like that. And then we have the C and the X. And we're going to go do the same thing on the other side, just so we got that memory fresh in our heads, top to bottom, stairs, top of the bottom, stairs. And then we're going to make the X. Have the bottom stairs, um, another stairs here in the middle, and a trap door like that. So now we have to make the S, so that's going to be an upside down stairs here, right side up. Then I'm going to add uh, upside down, right side up. And I'm going to add it facing towards the front, and then upside down like that. So that should be the S, like so. All right, so now we're going to do that same thing on the other side. So let's do it again, upside down, right side up, upside down here, right side up. Then we're going to add it right side up and upside down here. That's going to be the S. Now on this side, we'll add in dark oak trap doors right on top of this post here. And it's going to go all the way towards the front. A little bit elevated on this side. I don't know why they exactly do this. But all SD40 dash dudes, they pretty much have this feature. Not even limited, just the 40s. Like other locomotives have it too. So next, let's add in this person marine wall, two blocks tall over here. And then we'll add in um, a birch button and a acacia button. So first off, let's add an acacia button to the side of the blower duct here. And a birch button here in the back. We'll add in birch bun over here and then in front of that stairs. Acacia buns pair like over here. And maybe that's about it. So the rest, we're going to add in dark oak fence gates in between all of these fences. Like so. So next we'll go on to this side. Delete this fence. And we'll add in a wither skull and skull right to the side of that for the bell. Then um, we'll add to the side brake wheel over here. There's going to be a birch trap door. I'm going to close that up like so. Then next we'll add in a white carpet, a row across on top of the hood. I mean the top of the cab. And then we'll need to add in these oak fence gates. I forgot to do this in my original step, so now I have to face the consequences. Build all four corners of it, so we'll have to do that. Just add in these railings to the sides of everything, pretty much. And the other side would do the same thing. And open them up. Alright, so it should look like that.
All right, so next up, let's add in a dark prismarine slab over here in this corner behind the cab. And we'll go back to the back here, skip a block, and add in four dark oak fence gates. And open that up. And they're supposed to be the chains inside there. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build CSX good crazy eight CSX eight 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 eight. I don't even know if that's the correct number of eights. But yeah, it's the CSX SD4-2 in the YN2 livery. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you had already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later. Bye.